attention to a man who's uh, become very popular, controversial, and it's his blunt knife cuts really, really deep. Prophet Dr. Pedro of the Alabasta International Ministries. Prof, good morning. Thank yes, you sir. for your time. How are you doing, sir? I am fully blessed. Why are you brutally blunt and frank? <laughs> <laughs> that this in time needs to uh, hear truth mm. and truth must come you know belligerently it has to come aggressively mm. scintillatingly cataclysmically it needs to come as it is um, this generation have you know been pampered and cuddled for a very long time and even when you are speaking truth even to lead us to you know uh, brothers and sisters and national issues and all that because we have you know um, uh, concealed the truth okay I even if you are speaking it on those low tones it doesn't really permeate and get through mm. and i believe that god in this end time will love us to bring it to that particular is, is that how you are privately at it, home with your absolutely children? this is how i am this is how you were uh, yeah wow <laughs> <laughs> where did you pick it from <laughs> Your father, your mother, your uncle? Where? I think this will be my mother because uh, my father is a very calm person. Okay. Yeah, I think it should be my mother. Mm. Your mother. Yeah. <laughs> is, the, is the church losing focus? The church in Ghana, is it losing focus? I don't think it is focused. Possibly we've lost our voice. Okay. You know, because the, the church should be the spearhead mm. of of nation building mm. and uh, we should be because most of everybody in politics and all that most of them okay. are church members right. you know so when they come to church right. we have a duty the church has got a duty mm. to be able to let them uh, hear the word of God and be doers of the word mm. so even if we are doers of the word of God I mean we will not see our nation crawling as mm. it is mm. as I speak to you it means that there's a failure somewhere oh absolutely or oh, whose job is it to, to fix this failure. You know, because we are afraid to speak the truth. Mm. We cannot cry. It deters people. Okay. It, we are afraid to communicate truth mm. in a very conducive manner for it to be able to be absorbed. Okay. We are afraid that we're going to lose members and lose revenue mm. and resources mm. Mm. and all that. And so we rather, you know, um, um, lay off them, pamper them, pass away them, make it, we sugarcoat it and, and make it that way. They, they need the money from them to do their harvest and to build their, their churches <laughs> and everything else. Shouldn't they be, you don't buy the hand that feeds you, do you? You don't, but the point about truth when you are communicating it is that we do not, the Bible said you don't hide when you, when you light a, a candle, you don't hide it under a bushel. Mm -hmm. You put it on a candlestick, okay. candlestick that it shines for everybody that is in the house to right. be able to see it. You know, so you, you, if you are thinking about the bills, God does not call people and do not provide. Right. The Lord is committed to His charge. So right. if He gives you a vision, mm -hmm. He will make provision. Interesting. Has your tongue gotten you into trouble these days? Well, since you started talking about Absolutely national no. issues, and you, you sound like you're on a war path. Absolutely no. You know, God has given me a mandate to warn this nation and intercede for it. That is why every Sunday, you know, I carry the national colors every day anywhere. It's this place I didn't bring it. Yeah. I take it to church. As a nation, as a church that has gotten a national or a nation's mandate, mm. we pr before we pray for the country, okay. we, we recite the national play, mm. we sing the national anthem, and we pray for the nation. Interesting. Every Sunday. every Sunday every Sunday wow that's interesting that's yeah. that's good so you I say you're on a war path and I say so because you you pick people and you you try and put them you know where they have to be for example the gospel musicians you picked on Brad Sami and you told him look what he's saying it doesn't sit, sit with the Word of God have you been particularly proud about the kind of gospel music we have these days absolutely not why not the reason is because we have lost exegetical content. Okay. We have, we have lost the... When we say gospel music, mm. it is the gospel being preached in music. Okay. So I take the content of the word of God, mm. the text, and then I, pr I put the text of the word into context mm. and pretext. I preach the word, in mm. other words... Mm. 
What I'm singing, okay. like Charles Wesley did, right. after a thousand years, mm. we can still sing the word okay. of the gospel, mm. the good news mm. of Jesus Christ. Okay. Not what these guys are doing. Please, not what these guys, I mean, this whole thing have turned into, you know, self, selfishness, self-centeredness, self-aggrandizement, mm. and all that. And it is now going into, okay, so we take all these loose and frivolous things mm. and we bring it to the pulpit and all that kind of thing. Now it is themselves and not the gospel. If you want to ask me who the real gospel musicians Tell are, me. They, they will constitute only 9% out of the lot that we have. You have names to put to I'm, these, man. You know, I... <laughs> These days, I am trying to, sh you know, draw away from the personalities okay. and deal with the issues. Right. The reason is because, you know, when I, I take certain, look at the Methodist hymns, mm. the Presbyterian hymns. Mm. Every hymn, I have a hymn book my grandmother, Dorothy, if you can it gave me. Okay. Every hymn in that hymn book mm. has a scriptural right. validation Absolutely. to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Where are the back end? Where do they get it from? It's this gospel? Hmm. Please. There, there, are, there are many who call themselves prophets in this country, or Pambo, Nigel, uh, or Binim, everybody else. They, they are prophets. And you say that some of them are not from God. How did you know this? Oh, Jesus said, by their fruits, you shall know them. Absolutely, by their fruits, you shall know them. If you come to church, giving people lottery numbers and all that, people bring their, their underwears and all stuff like that and all that. Please, you... We have a duty to preach the gospel mm. and win souls for Jesus Christ. Mm. This is our principal or predominant assignment. Right. Miracles are real. Mm. God is a God of miracles. Right. If you take miracles out of the Bible, mm. you will have a historical or possibly a philosophical book. Okay. But everybody who is watching us knows mm. that the miracles of God okay. are assessed by the word of God. Okay, let's take a look at this one. When we return, there's more with Prophet Tudru. Take a look at this. They brought it to church. So the person that you knew to be a man of God, actually now, is a spiritualist. There is a big difference. When we were kids, we used to walk on the street. You can meet somebody who can talk about something about you, your grandmother, grandma, mother, da, 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 da. All these are soothsayers, palm readers. Your prophets. And so you may be sitting in church, but actually you may be in a shrine. Our churches are turning into shrines. And I keep telling the prophet, don't defend the Ghanaian prophets. You don't know what they do in the night. Well, that's him. Uh, Councillor George Lutra says 90% of the, of the Ghana's problems are from the church. Do you agree? No. Why not? Um, you know, we, we all constitute to what we find ourselves in. Okay. As a matter of fact, let me put it this way. We are a direct reflection of our leaders, and we are a direct reflection of our problems. Are we a serious country? We are not. Why not? Absolutely. We have swayed away from principles like astuteness. All the things our founding fathers stood for, we have drifted away from it. Since we have become so selfish, so mm. self-centered. Hmm. I'm telling you. You, you made a prophecy about number one. You quoted Jeremiah 2.19. You said that, well, wherever he is, he should come and that uh, his sin will, will make him fall. His backsliding will draw him back. He will lose everything and uh, unless he gives his soul to Christ. Recently, we've been told that he's been released from his Dubai cell. His PR says he's getting money to come and pay everybody. Is this, is this what you see? I am praying for that. You know, I pray for all the people who have lost revenue in that particular venture. And even pray for him and pray for his institution. Mm -hmm. The truth of the matter is that the Lord mm -hmm. is not interested in the soul of the, the death of a sinner. Okay. And therefore, we are praying for Nanapia mm -hmm. all the time, that the grace of God will lift him up and lift his head. God is seeking his attention. Mm -hmm. And if he will do himself a favor, he should give his life to Christ. Mm -hmm. Final question to you. Um, sanitation is big on my agenda. The president said he has sanitation as his central theme. There are churches springing up everywhere. 
cleanliness is next to godliness, but there's Bola everywhere too. What do you think? Uh, you know, I am going to connect this one to the previous one okay. because um, most of these things even have to come from our pulpits. Okay. You know, telling people that in the church of God and then and all that. And we expect the blessings of God. Oh, it's not going to come. It ain't going to happen. Please. Is that why the CD is falling? When you make sure, man, yes, son. Really? Yeah. In spite I'm of all you, the fine figures that we have. Figures? We shouldn't be comparing ourselves to those statistics. We should rather compare ourselves to nations we became independent with. Mm. Malaysia, Singapore. One would ask you, I want to do them. I want to do even Rwanda. One bad thing. Yeah, 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 independence, woman, yeah. Shania, one may at the tia, Remy, yeah, And we're talking statistics. We should rather replicate it in the pockets of the and, and the livelihoods of the people. <sighs> Thank you very much, Paul, for your time. Your closing thoughts. I want you to speak to the nation. That's your camera there. If I give you a minute, speak before to I speak to the nation, today is my mother, Dr. Christy Dotter's birthday. Ah, Mama Christy, happy, happy birthday. Happy 63rd birthday, Mama. Mama, I'm in my job. And everything that is on your heart, the Lord do it for you. I want to tell Ghana, hmm, if we look at the words of our national pledge, we promise on our honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, our motherland. We pledge ourselves to the service of Ghana with all our strength and with all our heart. We promise to hold in high esteem, our heritage won for us through the blood and toil of our fathers. Let us wake up and contribute our quota and make this country work. I will pray for this country. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray your hand of blessing upon us, but I pray a change of hearts for Ghanaians. We pray in the name of Jesus that we will find a place to fear you and eschew evil. I pray for His Excellency, the President, and the team in government. Let them stand for what is just and what is right. I pray for 3 TV and uh, 3 FM, the group. Let your hand of blessing be on them. In Jesus' name, amen. Prof, would you take an appointment from this government or subsequent ones to serve as a minister, DC, <laughs> MP? <laughs> Would you, would you take up? Honestly, I have never thought about it. Would you it take if it comes to you? I can never, you know, turn down an opportunity to save this nation. But I don't think that is my. If you have made a minister for interior, <laughs> it's still discipline. Would you take it? I will take any appointment to serve this country. But I think my place is the pulpit. I see. Prof, thank the you Lord very much. You so a pleasure much. meeting you. <laughs> and that's the uh, sensational, controversial, and I said earlier that his blunt knife cuts really, really deep. Prophet uh, Odro is with the Alabaster International Ministries. Every Sunday they say the National Pledge, they sing the National Anthem, and they pray for Ghana. What do you do for Ghana? Stay with